everyone, I'm here with Gary Hogan. He's the president of the North Central Texas Community Alliance. We're here in uh, Chapel Creek, uh, outside Fort Worth. Uh, Gary's got a bit to tell us uh, in terms of a warning about uh, unconventional gas in an urban environment. Gary? Well, what I'd, what I'd like to, trans, uh, to communicate to the people of Australia is what you're going to be coming up against is everything that we've come up against. And that's everything from the initial disturbance of, of natural gas drilling, especially if it's in a urban center community, but also in the rural communities. The environmental impacts and the, and the ethics of this business are that they really don't care about the business, all they, about the people. All they care about is what's under this ground, what they can take from us, what they can get out from under you. Everything else is superfluous to what they can take from you. In our community, we've suffered the impacts of natural gas drilling from uh, property value, devaluation. Uh, most homes that are abut to natural gas drilling lose anywhere from twenty to thirty thousand dollars, or you can estimate about twenty to thirty percent of your equity in in your property value. And, and in some cases, when they've come and actually taken property from people who didn't own their mineral rights, uh, I don't know how it is in Australia, but in Texas, we have uh, that the mineral estate is dominant to the surface rights. So in many, many cases, people that don't have their in mineral interests do not have any say-so on their land that's above. They essentially become squatters. Uh, this came to Fort Worth, Texas uh, eight, nine years ago. Uh, people at first were enthusiastic, thought that they were going to make some money from this. Uh, that has turned into a shattered dream. Uh, I talk to people all the time now who are getting either no royalty or in it, it's a financial disaster for them because they've not only lost money on their property value, but they're not making any money for suffering for the impacts of putting up with the gas drilling near their homes. Uh, truck traffic, but most important, there are truly environmental air quality concerns with the way this industry does business, and water quality has proved everywhere they've gone, not just in Texas, but all over the United States, that well water has been contaminated despite what the industry says, and surface water, the runoff from these sites and from spills of production water can be a tremendous impact to your surface water quality. Uh, and we are seeing everywhere that they have gone that people are suffering health impacts from this. We're still in the birth of this. This is a 10 year old experience here in Fort Worth, Texas. But uh, for decades to come, we're going to suffer the impacts from natural gas drilling here. So keep your eyes on us because this is where it started. Look at America. It's not working. It's not working for the people. It's working good for the industry. They're going to make money off of this. But for the people that are suffering the impacts, I don't see the buy-off. I don't see the, the advantage of doing this right now. Not the way they're doing it. So Gary, we've got two wells here, but uh, what does that mean in terms of truck movements and how many wells are there in this suburb? Well, from where we're standing right now, uh, there are nine pad sites within a mile of where we're standing. And on those well pad sites, nine pad sites, there are 24 active natural gas wells. Yep. So the truck traffic that services all these wells around our neighborhood are, uh, the truck traffic can be tremendous. Just as we were standing here a little while ago, one of the trucks went by. This well site is serviced at least by two truck visits a day. And so they're all the well sites around us. Road impacts. You know, these, these roads were not made for 80,000, 100,000 pound water trucks. So it's an industrialization of your suburb. It's an industrialization of the urban environment, yes, and neighborhoods. And like these homes behind us here are about 400 feet from the two well bores. Yep. 
and in the city of Fort Worth they're actually allowed as close as 200 feet from some of the homes. So we've done it really crazy. I agree. Thanks, Gary.